Hey, this is Ben with Bitcoin and altcoins.com and we're going to do a quick little video on setting up simplemining.net um, operating system for mining various cryptocurrencies, primarily Ethereum based currencies, but you can use it to mine Zcash and um, a lot of different currencies actually. So let's get right into it. So simple mining is um, a Linux I guess you say the word Ubuntu um, version of Linux that's pre-designed to um, require very little um, Linux skills on your part to set up. That's why it's called simple mining. You plug it in, you turn on your your computer, and it runs off of USB sticks. It doesn't run off of a hard drive. Really cool software, um, simple mining. And in order to set up simple mining, what you're going to do is you're going to go to simplemining.net and you're going to scroll down and on the right hand side you see this download section the R series and the RX series the RX series, uh, by the way this is only for AMD based uh, graphics cards if you have NVIDIA sorry simple mining doesn't work for you if you have an older um, like 280 or 380 or the 7950s um, AMD then you're going to download the R series okay if you have a newer RX 470, RX 480, um, I guess there's even RX 460s now. If you have one of these newer RX cards, you're going to download the RX series. You do not want to have mix and match cards in a simple mining operating system. The reason is because the graphics um, driver for RX 400s uh, needs to be more current than the graphics cards for 280 or 380 you're gonna get a much different hash rate you're gonna get a much better performance if you run the right operating system the right version of simple mining so if you've got RX 480s like I do you're gonna click here to download the RX 4 series and it'll literally just start downloading okay it's a big file though so just wanna warn you you're talking about almost a gigabyte worth of data and you need a USB or H hard drive or SSD of seven gigabytes. The instructions for how to install are right here. Um, you just keep scrolling down the page. Basically, you're going to do HDD raw copy, which allows you to flash, uh, make a make a flash copy, an exact copy of the um, simple mining software that we're downloading. And in my case, I'm going to flash it from a USB stick to a USB stick. So it's going to be really cool. I'm not going to need to have hard drives to uh, reboot this computer. Uh, that saves me money, right? Because a USB stick is like $5. You know, I can, I can run it on a $5 USB stick rather than having to have a $40 hard drive. That's $35 savings per uh, machine. Another cool thing about Simple Mining is they have this... Um, register to log in. What that is is when you log in, you log in to your console to manage all your devices from one console. And they also sell this rig resetter device. This is a device that can manually or <coughs> excuse me, not even manually, automatically reboot your mining rigs remotely. So if you're running uh, you know a lot of times when a new coin comes out sometimes the software is a little buggy and it freezes your mining rigs or maybe you get new mining mining cards and it might freeze your mining rigs and you've got to reboot in order to do that well you know you might be at your day job so you can't reboot your computers at home some of you might even have a lot of rigs and you might be you probably already know about simple mining already if you have a lot of rigs but there are guys that have 30 40 50 60 rigs for um, maybe at an office somewhere and it's a drive from their house and plus you don't want to have to get up in the middle of the night you want to actually be able to sleep and have your equipment be able to reboot so simple mining has a lot of cool features I definitely recommend it to you guys so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna run HDD raw copy and it's just software that you're gonna install HDD raw copy let's see if that's on the screen HDD raw copy and we'll click yes to install it it's just like regular software we install. Um, I have an iDrive where I install stuff, so I change that. And then everything else will just keep all the same. Okay, real quick, it's ready. And 
we have HDD raw copy installed. So HDD raw copy is, um, it says, it's going to show me my hard drives. It's going to show me my USB if I have one plugged in. And then this will be blank, this file section. This will be blank for you guys. Um, it's found my last settings, so it knows that last time I, I made a copy of this one file. So I click on it, I navigate, and actually I just stuck it in downloads. The brand new version is here in downloads. So I want to make sure I get the, the newest version of Simple Mining. I just found it. I'm going to click continue. Now where do I want to copy that to? The target. Where do I want to copy that to? I want to copy that to my USB. I don't want to copy it to my RAID or SATA. I don't want to copy it to my hard drive. In my case, I want to put it on USB. And I can tell because this is megabytes and those are gigabytes. These are much bigger hard drives. This is just an 8 gig um, cruiser fit USB stick. So I click continue. And it's going to tell me one more time. This is important. You know, if you see uh, your hard drive listed here and you see, you know, a three terabyte hard drive, well, guess what? You're going to overwrite it. You don't want to do that, right? So I'm, I'm copying from uh, to a SanDisk Cruiser Fit. The software they use is also a SanDisk Cruiser Fit. And both of them are eight gigabytes. So I know it's going to work. And I found those SanDisks like on sale on Amazon for four or five bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. So now you just click start. It's going to remind you that make sure this is the drive that's going to be overwritten. Make sure your hard drive does not pop up there. <laughs> if your hard drive pops up there, you're screwed. You want to cancel. But I, I know I'm doing the right thing, so I'm going to click yes. So now that's going to run for a little while. Um, you can tell right here this taskbar is going to start to turn green as this runs. And you're going to see there and starting to turn green. When it fills up green, um, it'll it'll be stopped. Also, the start button goes gray. I can't start anymore. I can only um, stop. And it also tells you right here that it's not started. If you know, all this shows that it's going. Now, this is going to take 10 or 15 minutes. So you're probably going to want to be going about and doing other things while this is running. And you know, it just depends upon how fast your USB is and um, let it run for a little while and then come back and check on it. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Magically, we'll fast forward through time to the spot where this is completed. Now, through the magic of space time travel, aka pausing the video, we have finished copying the USB stick for simple mining. So it's all finished. We can see right here it says task complete. Our green bar is completely full. And we can no longer stop, but we can start. And it also says 100% complete. So um, don't click start, because if you click start again, it's going to go through the process of writing the disk again. It's going to take another 20 minutes if you click start. So you don't want to click start. Before you pop out the USB stick, you want to go on ahead and open your Windows Explorer. Go to your USB drive where the USB where the, um, <coughs> you know, hopefully you have your USB drive shows up here like this, and hopefully you only have one, so you know which one you're going to. Um, C and I are my hard drives that I have set up on this computer. By the way, it doesn't really matter if it's what version of Windows. Someone in one of the topics online was talking about, like, it's better on Windows 7 than Windows 10. I, I don't know. I've never had a problem on Windows 10 doing simple mining. Um, but before you take out the drive, you want to edit this config file. Okay, so it's the only thing you can read on Windows when you look at this USB drive. There's a whole bunch of Linux files on there that you can't read, but this one you can. So what you want to do is you want to change this email address with your own. If you took this USB stick and stuck it in your computer and, and booted it up, it would start mining to simplemining.net. It would start mining to their wallet address as opposed to mining to your wallet address. So what you want to do is you want to go on ahead and you want to put in your address. For the purposes of these videos, I'm going to use a test email address. Quite frankly, 
this is Bitcoin and I don't trust everybody. <laughs> so I'm going to use a test email address rather than my real email address for these videos. So this is my test email address. I go on ahead and click save. And now if I were to go to Simple Mining, <coughs> if I were to go to Simple Mining here, I can actually log in with my test email address and say that I'm not a robot and when I do this it's going to actually send me an email to this email address to confirm that I really am this person so I'm gonna have to wait for that email to come and then I'll be able to go on ahead and log in and I'll be able to set all of my uh, wallet addresses for mining and do all of that stuff alright so I'm gonna go on ahead and pause the video again while we wait for that all right, welcome back. And um, I've what I've done is I've actually received an email. Let me move this over so you can see this. I've received an email to my test email address. If you want to log into your Simple Mining dot dashboard, click that link. So you click that link, and it takes you here. Now um, I've already renamed my rig. You do that here in the More Settings, Change Name kind of hard to see but change name and delete rig are in there SRR that's simple rig resetter that's to reset the rig basically does a power on and off if you bought their device <coughs> so you change the name of your rig here and um, so that's the name of my rig BC1 so as you add more rigs you, as, as you put the simple mining software and have more rigs on that email address you'll see them listed here but again this is just a test so I can show you guys how to set up the software when you log in you're gonna go and you're gonna select what miner you want to mine with the miners are all listed here so you can mine a lot of different so, uh, algorithms so you can mine with Bullberry you know that's one of the ones that uh, we're currently speculating on Bullberry um, you could mine with Zcash again that's another good one that we're speculating on you can run either Claymore uh, or OptiMiner and what you do is um, you come in here and you enter in your addresses these are going to be blank when you first log in you come in and add your addresses so all the defaults for Bitcoin Ethereum and Sia are all going to be so if I go and select Claymore Ethereum plus Sia it's going to automatically take this Ethereum address and this SIA address. And you'll notice it uses these variables wallet SC and also uses rig name. Um, so if I went on ahead and selected this checkbox here, a radio box, and selected save all options and reload all rigs, it would, it would literally go and change everything to mine and claim more ETH plus SIA and all of the rigs that are in here would automatically switch it would send a reset to all those rigs and they would switch over to mining this and then Claymore version 8 this is the most recent Claymore that's out so I would I would select Claymore version 8 I would come over here and I would select the radio box if I just take the defaults it's going to give me mining on Dwarf Pool EU and the wallet address is e wallet ETH and rig name okay these are variables and what that means is it's pulling in the data from down here and the rig name is the name that I specified over here BC1 so really cool software really easy to use you can come in here and you can change this I can say I want to mine Claymore ETH I can say US rather than um, EU because I'm a US person and where it says wallet and rig name I can leave that but I could come down here at the end and I could add um, DC pool or D pool excuse me I could add a D pool and I could do uh, basically you know I could do supernova for for decred and add a D wall you know and I, I, I don't know the supernova address off the top of my head um, 
but I could also open up a window and I can go to DCR Supernova okay so this is the stratum plus TT TCP that's the claymore right there that's what I want for claymore so I can literally copy this information right I could copy this information from supernova and I could put it in here excuse me that's not the right thing I'm burning another copy um, I could put it in here I could copy that and put it in here and I would just change out the wallet or actually I don't even have to change out the wallet I just have to change out the username because it's supernova I mean if you if you've set this stuff up before this is all going to be really simple for you. If you've never set this miner software up before, if this is your first miner, then you need to learn the information. Here's another really cool thing about simple mining is where it says important notes. If I want to um, get more information, I just select this and copy. Go here. Now this is the thread on Claymore for Claymore's dual Ethereum miner version 8 same software we're running here Claymore ETH version 8 and I can scroll down and I can see what the different settings are ePool, ePallet, EPSW Dcoin, okay DCRI, all of this stuff what the no fee option means um, really cool and and that's another cool thing about simple mining is because it gives me the advanced commands I can I can set these other th settings power limit I can set the fan speed max and min and I can do it per card all this fun stuff that you could do with Claymore you can do with simple mining because you can change this and if you ever screw it up just copy the default options come here paste I just copy my default options and put them back in there okay so while this rig boots up you won't see anything as soon as it boots up this will change from red to uh, a green color or a yellow color and um, you'll see where it says status it will show you the status and it'll say online console will show me how it's mining and then I'll see all my cards over here I'll see the core and memory for all of my cards and the temperatures and the fans and I can click right here and this will show me the screen the reason why it's not showing is because the first time when you boot up off of the simple miner it takes a little while to boot up because it does some things like it loads um, any updates and patches it patches all the software so any patches it's gonna go on ahead and load the first time you install it and depending on how fast your USB is you know it could be faster or it could be slower so it'll be coming up any minute here